Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how you can actually install Llama 2 locally on your desktop. Now, we're also going to cover how you can actually have it run on the cloud for the people who do not have the right GPUs to actually run Llama 2. But in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing how you can actually access Llama 2 without Meta's wait for the actual model cards as there's some people who are being rejected to access it but it's fairly easy for the people who apply for it for the people who do not know to actually access Llama 2 and download its weights you'll need to download the model but to actually do that you'll need to apply for that and this is through clicking on the download button on Meta's AI Llama page and this is where you will have to request and access the next version of Llama. Now, this takes from roughly two hours to two days to get an access. Obviously, not everyone will get an access because uh, you need to comply with the policies as well as the licensing agreements. So once you have submitted that, you'll get access. But for the people who want to access it right now, I'm going to showcase how you can actually install it locally. And so you can get the best access of Llama 2 version very fast and very promptly. Now guys, if you want to get more information on Llama 2, I made a video that details everything about this new amazing open source large language model. I go more in depth as to the background information, go more into the advancements of Llama 2 by comparing it with the original Llama model, talking about the pre-training data, as well as the data sets, the benchmarks, and how you can actually install it with this demo. And I also go with a little bit more into the demo as to comparing what you can actually do and utilize this model for so if you want more information on this i'll leave this link in the description below and so you can get a better idea of what llama 2 actually is now it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go give world of ai on twitter a follow i'm going to be posting the latest ai content here so i highly recommend that you check this out if you guys haven't already now it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can subscribe guys i'm going to be posting the latest ai content in terms of videos over here so it would mean the world to me if you guys can do so turn on the notification bell like this video and comment anything you want to see in future uploads and if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos i I would really really appreciate if you guys can do so because there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys let's get right into the video so firstly i'm going to start off by demonstrating how you can actually install it locally on your desktop by taking a look at the unofficial models that are uploaded by this developer he actually uh, was able to upload all the llama 2 models that were released by meta in terms of its parameter size as well as the context length that is actually uploaded by Meta. So basically he was able to upload the 70 billion parameter model, the 13 billion one, as well as the 7 billion one. So you can actually get an access of all of these models that you wanna play around with, as well as something if you do not have the right compatibility to run like the 70 billion parameter model, you can utilize something that is less of a bigger model, such as like the 13 billion one or the 7 billion one that might be more compatible for your own GPU. So select the ones that you want to play around with. In my opinion, uh, if you have a really good computer and you know you can handle the 7 billion parameter one, I would suggest using this one as you have more of a bigger, a bigger context length as well as a better functionality of the conversation bot. So I would highly recommend that you download this. It's fairly easy. You just copy the link of the repo and we'll then get on to the next step where I'll showcase you how you can actually install it. So the step I'm gonna be showcasing is how you can actually install it using text generation web UI. Now this is fairly easy guys. What you need to do is scroll down. There's actually two ways to install this. You can use the one click installers, which are like prevalent for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, as well as WSL. But in my case, I have Windows, so I would download this zip file. Now it's a couple of hundred MBs. So you just have to download this. And once you have it opened up, there's gonna be a file that says start and you double click the start file and then it will open up your command prompt and it will start downloading the whole file. Now, for the case of this video, I can't showcase the whole length of installing it because it's like around 20 minutes to install this as it's 10 GB. So you'll need to shortly take the time to install it as you do other tasks, but you can have it run 
while you work on other things, but it will start working on the command prompt and start installing the files that are required for Ookabooga to run. Now, this is a text generation web UI application that will help you run any large language model. So I highly recommend that you use this if you guys don't already, but it'll take roughly around 10 to 20 minutes depending on your GPU. And once you have finished installing the web UI, it will then run on your local host and it will then pop up like this. Now, once you're in this like web UI application on your local host, what you need to do is go back onto the actual model card, which you want to actually download. You can click copy over here. You can close this, go back onto the web local host, go onto the model and then paste this link right here and click download. Now this will take roughly, depending on the size of the model or the GPU or the model itself, it might take a little bit while, like longer to actually download it. But once it's fully downloaded, you then just need to go on the model loader and select the model that you just downloaded. So in this case, we downloaded Llama to a 70 billion chat parameter model. It will then load up in your model loader over here. Now, if it doesn't show up, you can refresh it, load your host again, and it will then be popping up right here. And this is where you can select it. And once you have it selected, obviously you can go back into text generation and start chatting. Now, this is a simple way and easy way for you to download it locally on your host using the unofficial weights that are provided by this developer. Now, obviously, if you do not have a strong GPU, I highly recommend that you don't do it because it's going to take forever to generate things and it's going to be a waste of time for you, basically. So if you do not have the right specs, there's another way in which you can run it on the cloud. And this is by accessing, accessing the whole model with Hugging Face projects. And basically they've gotten all the models uploaded. They have the 7 billion chat model uploaded in which you can chat with this model over here. You have the 13 billion chat. And lastly, with Hugging Chat, they have the 70 billion parameter model. Now I'm going to showcase what you can actually do with these models later on in the video so you get a better idea. But you can do things like code a snake game and it will start generating very, very fast, guys. Now, this is the amazing thing with this new Hugging Chat model. So if you want to check a video out on Hugging Chat, I highly recommend that you do so because I made it a couple of months ago where I talk a little bit more in depth as to what Hugging Chat is. So if you want to get a better idea at this or as to what Hugging Chat is, definitely take a look at this. But you can see right here, it's able to generate the content very, very fast with this cloud model with Hugging Chat. Now, I'm just going to stop this because there's another thing I want to showcase as to how you can access it using Google Colab. Now, this is another way as to how you can access it. And this is by this developer who made this GitHub repo and uploaded the code for the llama model as well as many other large language models on google colab but at this current moment you can only access the 7 billion chat model as well as the 13 billion chat model now he also fine-tuned it so you can try it with a gp2 tq model but in this case if you want to run the 7 billion one or the google 13 billion one you just have to click on the google colab link now it'll take a couple seconds but once it's ready what you will need to do first is go into runtime change the runtime type change it to gpu have it saved and if you want you then connect with your own gpu to accelerate the process now once this is finished connecting and installing, you can then go on over here click on file and save a copy in your own drive now you can also save a copy in your own github link but it's highly recommend that you do it with your drive so make sure you have enough space to do so if you're downloading the 13 billion one but once you have that figured out with you just have to click on the play button now this is not authorized by google obviously but you can run it anyway because you can trust the developer that is creating this now this will take a couple seconds for it to initialize and download the packages that are required for 13 billion parameter chat model so once this is finished installing, you can then access it on your local host which i'll showcase once this is done because once it's finished installing, you'll get the public URL that you can deploy on Gradio Live. And basically, you can just click on this link, go on model, like we did with uh, the original tutorial with installing it locally. You'll have the model installed already because we installed it with Google Colab. But basically, you have to load this model. And this is by taking this new model 
loading this with the model right here. Click on this, click load. Now it will then start prompting and loading the model. Now this is gonna take a little bit longer because it's very big and we know that it requires a lot of computational power to load such models like this because you're working with billions of tokens as well as billions of context length that is required to operate this like a large language model. So if you want to do that, it's gonna take a little bit longer but if you want to basically easily access these things with the virtual or cloud uh, basic chat bots, you can definitely do so by running it on Hugging Chat because it's way more faster and it's super easy to use guys. So let's actually take a look at this. So we told it to code a basic snake game in Python and we can see that it's able to do this relatively pretty fast and it looks pretty good to me, it's just there's some things that might be better, but it's a simple code game, so you can't really complain. Now let's actually talk and ask it about like current date, like basic like things that are happening. So like, let me just ask it what or who is the current CEO of Twitter? I just want to see if the model data is up to date and we can see I does not answer this properly, but let me just ask it. Who founded ChatGPT? ChatGPT was developed by Meta AI, so it is definitely hallucinating, guys. So maybe this might not be the best thing as it's providing misinformation, but it is definitely not going to be doing that with the official model weights with Llama 2 that is accessible with Google Colab. Now, guys, this might be something concerning about this, but it's probably not because we're searching the web. So maybe let me try this again with a new chat. Who founded that GBT? Now, with this web search, it's definitely going to be able to provide a better answer. But obviously, I wanted to just test it with its own data because I wanted to see if the context of what the model or the data was trained on was accurate with current date like knowledge but in this case it doesn't seem like it was but in this case we can see it's able to provide this with the web search now let's say let me try again who was who founded twitter jack Dorsey. okay awesome we got this correct answer over here finally but I wanted to see if it was relevant like with current data that is provided with what is happening in this current time but obviously it's not able to because they probably had it set off at a current year in which they collected all the data so it wasn't able to provide relevant or new data that is basically being generated so that is one thing to keep in mind but you can basically still do everything that you can do with many of these other models and this is open source guys so this is absolutely amazing as it's getting closer and closer to jet gpt's powers as well as its data sets you can maybe have it write an email with from bullet points so we can see as a restaurant owner write a professional email to the supplier to get the products every week so we can see this it's able to provide this amazing email in like seconds which is amazing now let's say assist in a task i'm just formulating the examples that are provided over here and we can see it's able to do many of these things that chat gpt can very fast and what's great is that this is llama 2 that is providing these like generations because of its new fine tuned model as well as its new context length and this is something i talk a little bit more in depth about previously in my videos so if you want more information on that definitely get and watch this video if you guys have it on llama 2 but in conclusion guys this is an amazing large language model and it represents a significant leap in the realm of large language models it's able to comprehend and have a vast number of parameters with this diverse collection of pre-trained and fine-tuned models which makes it stand out as a powerful tool in the nlp tasks that are surpassing its previous models as llama one and this is something that is going to continue to evolve so 
as Lama 2 con like continuously advances and there's more contributions to this amazing large language model, we're going to see that it's going to be able to take over many of these bigger models. So I highly recommend that you check this out, download it using the ways I taught you guys, and I hope you got some sort of value out of this video. Make sure you check out this video previously on Llama 2 as I talk a little bit more in depth as to what this is about. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI, I highly recommend that you do so. There's a lot of content and a lot of value that you'll definitely benefit from. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. Turn on the notification bell, like this video. And if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, it'd mean the whole world to me if you guys can do so. And with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out, fellas.